Hey, good people. I want to talk to you today about a concern that comes up quite frequently as I go out and diagnose issues with trees. You can see some of the, some of the older wounds, some of the damage that takes place as a, a, especially a large wound is left open for any period of time that there can begin to become rot in this wood and you, we certainly don't want it to move in and compromise the integrity of the branch. And sometimes there's a disease and bacteria and whatnot that gets in there and there's a simple solution to stay ahead of that. Now, these days when we make a pruning cut, we don't typically um, address that with any type of a pruning sealer or paint. That's very old school thinking. The research has shown that you just, you simply leave that alone and let nature take it the, the best option for healing um, to itself. But in the event that we are going to get some bacteria in there, that we are possibly going to get that wood getting punky and, and starting to be compromised, there's a simple solution. Um, what you want to do is go to the hardware store or grocery store or whatnot, find yourself a good sprayer. And then you're going to mix up just a, a solution of Clorox and water. This is very DIY. Um, the ratio is 10 to 1. Now I've done some reading that says 9 to 1, but when we're talking about uh, this simple solution, that variance uh, is negligible. But I say 10 to 1. So what that means, if you were cooking in the kitchen and you took a quarter cup of Clorox bleach, you would have two and a half cups of water. 10 to 1, right? Okay, one quarter cup of bleach, 10 cup, or two and a half cups of water. So fortunately, the container that I got at the grocery store is, uh, has measurements on it. They're graduated in ounces, cups, etc., etc. So this makes this really easy for me. So I just look on here and I'm gonna put my Clorox in first and I'm gonna take it to the one ounce line and that's all there was to it. And then I'm going to take and fill this to the 11 ounce line. And we will put that simple recipe floating across the screen there. And then once you get that solution mixed up. You're gonna apply this during the growing season when those bacterias and whatnot that I mentioned are active. And every, oh, six weeks, four weeks maybe, you're going to come out and you're just gonna do a quick spray in the exposed area that we're talking about. Now, sometimes your exposed area, if it's like in an older apricot like this, it can be quite large where decades ago, somebody did some unfortunate pruning and exposed all of this to the sun and it subsequently burned through the cambium layer. And so sometimes you're, you're going to have to um, you're going to have to you're going to have to mist a larger area, but you do what you can, okay? Because again, you're just trying to keep that area from getting soft and punky and compromised in a way that it will no longer sh support the weight of the branch. So anyway, it's a quick kitchen solution, as it were, 
to keeping these wounds from being compromised and subsequently weakening the branch. So enjoy your time in the garden and uh, join us next week.